Topic 4.6, the cell cycle. On a big picture level, what does mitosis do? List three of its key functions in living things. Describe what happens during the cell cycle. Describe the phases of mitosis. Explain the importance of the G0 phase of the cell cycle. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where we believe that if you're really going to learn AP Bio, you've got to interact and get feedback. That's what happens on learn-biology.com. We're so sure of that, that your subscription comes with a money-back guarantee. On a big picture level, what does mitosis do? List three of its key functions in living things. Note for this question that mitosis, as it often is, is synonymous with eukaryotic cell division. Mitosis duplicates the chromosomes of a eukaryotic cell, transmitting that cell's entire genome to its daughter cell. So here you have the parent cell. It's got two chromosomes. Here those chromosomes have been duplicated. Now they're being pulled apart. And now you have daughter cells, each with two chromosomes. And each one is going to be an exact clone of its parent cell. In a multicellular organism like you and me, mitosis is how an organism grows and repairs itself. Remember that you started life, as all multicellular beings do, as a single cell. In a unicellular eukaryote, like a paramecium or an amoeba, mitosis is how reproduction occurs. Describe what happens during the cell cycle. The cell cycle, as you can see in this diagram, can be divided into two main phases. So the outside orange part of the circle, that's interphase. This yellow part over here, that's mitosis or M phase represented by the letter M. During interphase, you can subdivide three basic phases, but the cell doesn't appear to be dividing during interphase. The first is G1, and during G1, the cell increases in size. G1 stands for growth phase one. During S, which stands for synthesis, you have DNA replication or chromosome duplication. And during G2, growth phase two, you have the growth of the structures that are required for cell division. During M phase, you have mitosis, separation of the chromosomes, followed by cytokinesis. So at the end, you have two daughter cells that are clones of the parent cell. Describe the phases of mitosis. We begin with interphase, during which the cell grows and replicates its DNA. During that time, it doesn't look as if it's dividing, but DNA replication, for example, has occurred. During prophase, chromosomes, which are spread out as what's called chromatin during interphase, they condense into these X-like structures. The nuclear membrane disintegrates, and a spindle apparatus, which is these fibers over here, you can see the entire apparatus in the next phase, start to grow from each centrosome. During metaphase, the spindle fibers grab onto the chromosomes and they pull and push them to the cell equator. If you can sort of imagine a line running down from top to bottom, that would be the cell equator. I talked about this X-like formation that the chromosomes are in. That's because each chromosome is doubled and consists of two clones called sister chromatids. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, how am I gonna get an A in my class and a four or a five on the AP Bio exam? At learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. The material is complex, the pace is brutal, and the vocabulary is ridiculous. AP Bio is hard. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and inadequate. To get that A or that four or five, you need an easier way to study. And that's why we created learn-biology.com. It's an interactive AP Bio curriculum with tutorials that have quizzes, flashcards, and interactive diagrams that give you the feedback that you need so that your confidence soars and that you can easily get A's on your tests and a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. We have comprehensive AP exam reviews and a subscription comes with a money back guarantee. If you do the work, you'll succeed. I guarantee it. So here's your plan. Sign up for a free trial subscription at learn-biology.com. Complete our unit reviews and get ready to crush the AP Bio exam. You do not want to end the year with regrets. Learn-biology.com, your key to AP Bio success. During anaphase, the spindle pulls the sister chromatids apart 
and starts dragging them to the opposite ends of the cell. At the same time, there are what are called non-kinetochore microtubules. A kinetochore is like a handle on the chromosomes that these spindle fibers use to pull the chromosomes apart. But there are other fibers that basically push on one another and that causes the cell to elongate. During telophase, a new nuclear membrane starts to grow around each set of chromosomes. The chromosomes spread out into their interphase formation so you can't really see them anymore. And a nucleolus reappears in each cell. It disappeared during interphase. The nucleolus makes ribosomes and ribosome production shuts down during most of mitosis. Finally, during cytokinesis, the cell splits apart into two daughter cells. I have a great song about Mitosis. Mitosis, chromosomal ride in a pro meta anatelophase divide. You carry out scope from one cell to two. Mitosis, how cells renew. And I'll put the link below. Explain the importance of the G0 phase of the cell cycle. Basic idea here is that not all cells go through the entire cell cycle. So if you have highly specialized cells like a nerve cell or a muscle cell, they'll leave the cell cycle and they'll enter into G0, after which they won't divide. Certain stimuli, however, can induce cells in G0 to re-enter the cell cycle. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.